Hey, this is Phil with Filmora. Welcome back to the YouTube marketing series. In this video, we're learning and talking about playlists and how to use playlists the right way on YouTube. We've talked about how watch time is so important on YouTube and it helps increase your video ranking. That will help get more views in general, more subscribers, and again, that snowball effect of growing your channel. Having playlists is one way to encourage people to watch more of your videos. Creating a playlist is simple. You can go directly from the upload page, you can go from your video manager to create a playlist, or there's a separate playlist page where you can organize your playlist, rename them, add descriptions, organize how your videos show up in your, your playlist and everything related to playlists. You can have playlists appear on your channel page, which is great because when there's new people visiting your channel page, you wanna direct them to playlists that they might be interested in. So if you have a channel that has multiple series or creates videos on a range of topics, having a playlist can help navigate a person to that right series of videos. Rather than them having to search on your channel or just viewing all of your videos or just being confused and going away, we'd rather help people out, direct them to the videos they're interested in. I actually just had a call with YouTube the other day and they were giving me a review of my channel, giving me some tips to improve my own channel. Their advice to me was create more playlists. Playlists are important because watch time is so important having more playlists is not a bad thing. I used to worry about having too many playlists and if that would confuse people, but that's not the case. The more playlists, the better, as long as it makes sense. You don't need to create playlists that are duplicates, but if you have videos that can go into multiple categories, then have multiple playlists for those categories. And then the other thing is to make sure that in your video and on your video page, it's easy to find those playlists. Have a call to action in the video itself, saying, hey, watch the next video in this series, click on the playlist above in the YouTube card or in the annotation right here or in the description below. Having multiple ways for people to find the playlist is a good idea. Let me just show you a couple ways to add your videos to a new playlist or to create playlists. The first is from your creator studio and under your video manager, you can literally just click any of these videos and click add to, and then you can choose or check any of the playlists you want to add it to or create a new playlist by clicking the create new playlist button and typing in the title for your playlist. If you're on a specific video that you're watching, you can quickly add it to a playlist with this add to button right here. And you get the same options. You get the playlist that you've already created or you can create a new playlist. When you're uploading, you could automatically add it to playlists in your upload page or when you're editing the video afterwards, you won't see this right here, but it will have the playlist and you can click there and add it to any of these other playlists or create a new playlist like the other ones. Under Creator Studio Video Manager, we can see our playlist page. So say we have Phil Ebner's vlog and videos for fun. I can click on that, go to that playlist. I can add videos directly to this playlist here just by clicking add videos. Then I can search through my YouTube videos or I can add YouTube videos based off of URL or video search. These are videos from other people if you wanna add it to your playlist. I usually just stick to creating playlists with my own videos though. Now you know that playlists are so important. So the action item is to go through your channel and create as many playlists as you can that make sense. Again, you gotta make sure that it makes sense, that it's not repetitive, but you are free to make multiple playlists. Thanks for watching and in the next video in the series, we're going to learn how to use the branding watermark in a couple fun ways. Mm -hmm.